Hey everybody, Michael here. Hope you're all well. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to be looking at three products from Victory Crown Barber Company. So in this video, we'll be looking at their slick, their matte, and their paste. These are the three pomades in the Victory Crown Barber Company line. So we're going to look at all three of them in this video today. We have the slick, the matte, as well as the paste. We're going to start with the slick because it's the most different from the other two in the line, but I do just want to go over some basic things about all three products that are consistent throughout. They all come in these 3.4 ounce black plastic containers with the metal lid, and they also all have a green apple scent. They're also meant to be easy to use for both barbers and their customers, which is really cool. You know, definitely a lot of user-friendly features to these products. I am very excited to look at all three of them for you. And like I said, we are going to start with the Slick. So the Slick Pomade by Victory Crown Barber Company is basically a traditional water-based gel type pomade. It has a high hold and a high shine finish. And of course, like I said, it has that green apple scent that the rest of the products do. And it smells so good. It smells amazing. I absolutely love it. And you can't tell because the jar is dark, but the color of the product is clear. So getting into using it, scooping it out is a pretty thick product. It feels just like a very thick gel, but then when you begin to break it down, there is a bit of a stickiness there, but it doesn't translate to the application. And I apply this product to towel dried hair, absolutely no issue there. When you do begin initially styling, it does feel actually rather slick, which I do like because the product is called slick, and a lot of gel type pomades have a reputation for not being very slick. However, this one though does have a nice initial slickness to it. And then as you finish your style, you definitely tell that it has a nice firm hold. It definitely has a nice bit of shine there to begin with. But as we know with a lot of gel type products, the shine does die down throughout the day. Now it is pretty typical to a gel type pomade where it does lock in and harden up similar to a gel throughout the day. However, though, it's not a drastic process. It locks in rather comfortably and then your hair will not move. I found that as long as you don't touch your hair, this product will hold your hair pretty much in place for the majority of the day because it does lock in very effectively without feeling really crusty like a lot of gel pomades can. Now, this is a traditional gel pomade though, so if you do want to restyle, you will have to restyle with a wet comb, but that just reactivates the product and makes it much easier to reposition your hairstyle. And I find that it doesn't dilute the hold too much. And yes, also typically to gel type pomades, this one does lose its shine throughout the day, but it never looks really unhealthily dull or matte either. It drops down to just a very, very low shine. And then typical to other gel type pomades out there, this one does wash out with just some warm water and your hair feels nice and soft afterwards. So definitely pretty good for a pretty classic gel type pomade. So now we're going to move on to the matte. So this one is kind of like a clay sort of product. It's a high hold matte finish. And then when you take the lid off on this one, you see that it has this sort of light gray color and it has this very, very very creamy look to it on the inside. I'm just gonna smell the green apple scent in all three of them because I I just love the way that it smells. It smells really, really good. So getting into the mat, as you can tell by its consistency, scooping it out is very easy. Breaking it down is very easy as well. And this one is meant to be paired with a blow dryer. So if you are going to use it, you should use it with a blow dryer. My favorite way of using it is applying it into towel dried hair and then blow drying it into position, using it sort of as a pre-styler. And I find that this is one of the few like high hold matte finish products that actually works pretty well as a pre-styler. Typically with pre-styler products, they tend to be a bit lighter in hold, but this one actually does a good job of giving your hair a nice foundation while still remaining pretty smooth and giving your hair lots of volume, a decent amount of texture, and a pretty nice natural looking finish. Now, when I first got this product, I expected it to be a bit pastier in its final result, but it wasn't. It's not like a stiff, pasty feeling in the hair. It actually has a pretty smooth and slightly waxy feeling to it. But all the while, it does give some nice texture, some nice volume, but for me, it actually kind of feels a bit more like a medium hold product because it is so lightweight. Yes, this product is absolutely weightless. It feels very nice and smooth, gives some nice texture to it, some very nice fine texture that just looks very, very smooth. So you basically get an extremely lightweight, medium hold, natural finish looking product. So this is the product in line for you if you want something with a lot of volume, a lot of texture. It's definitely very easy to do so with this product. And you can play around with applying different amounts of product to really dial in the level of hold that works well for you. But like I said, for me, just applying like one scoop for blow drying, then one scoop after seems to work the best for me. And I find that this product does a really good job of holding like a natural looking hairstyle in place really well. So it basically looks like you added no product to your hair, but there is a really nice present hold there to keep the hairstyle in place. Yet, if you want to, it's not stiff or pasty, so you can also run your fingers through it if you need to restyle, and you know, you probably will because this is not a product that hardens up or anything like that, and it caters to more of a natural look. So when the time comes that you do need to restyle, it is definitely very possible. And then at the end of the day, it washes out with just some warm water as well. All right, so in my opinion, I decided to save the best for last though. The paste is probably my favorite of the three that I was sent. So typically when we have paste products, we think very lightweight, matte finish, lots of volume and texture, 
but they oftentimes have a dry, sort of stiff, sticky kind of feel to them, which I really do not like in a lot of run-of-the-mill paste products. This one, though, is a much smoother and waxier product. It's supposed to be a medium hold, a low shine product, and the unique thing about it as well is it's meant for literally anybody that just kind of wants a touch-and-go sort of product, if you will. On the website's description, they basically say you can use this with damp hair, with dry hair, with blow dryer, without a blow dryer, kind of use it however you want, and you'll just get a medium hold and low shine, literally just meant to be sort of this Swiss Army knife of a hair product that you can kind of use in any situation. After using it for a little while, I found that to be true. I actually found this one to be the most unique out of the three of them, and that's why I like it the most. Taking the lid off though, on the inside you see a very creamy sort of white looking product, and once again, <laughs> I love the green apple scent. I'm sorry, it just smells so good. So getting into using the product, scooping it out, it is very easy, breaking it down, very easy, applying it to the hair, once again, very easy. And I like to use this product similarly to how I use their matte product. Like one scoop into towel dried hair, blow dry, but then for this one, I add two scoops after blow drying, and I find that really gives me the nice medium hold that I'm looking for. And this product is not like a traditional paste where it gets stiff and really, really dry feeling and like tons of volume like that. It kind of just feels like a smoother version of the matte and maybe slightly lighter, but also it has a bit more of a waxy stickiness to it. So it can hold together a sort of slick hairstyle if you want to, like a slick hairstyle with a low shine, or you can break it up with your fingers and get a very clean, just sort of healthy touch of shine with some texture. Yeah, this is literally just sort of the all day long, play around with your hair, medium hold, low shine product. I would say even with some hair colors, this might look like more of a natural finish where it doesn't add any shine to your hair. And I guess for me, depending on how much I use of this product, the shine level definitely differs between low and natural for me as well. And yeah, I mean, this one holds up just as well as the matte does. I find that it's just a little bit lighter, but also it's a little bit more versatile, so you can use it as a pomade or as sort of a texture product and go for pretty much whatever hairstyle that you want with this one. Feels really nice and soft and healthy, and it kind of reminds me in a way sort of of Blue Mon's Monarch Matte Paste, where it is kind of one of those paste products that is very smooth that kind of bucks the trend of traditional paste products but honestly though between this one and blue mon's monarch matte paste i actually think this one is kind of similar to monarch it might not have as matte of a finish but definitely a way better scent than that flowery scent that blue mon has for their paste and i think the performance is rather similar maybe just a little bit shinier than monarch but i actually prefer this one to monarch so here we are, the final verdict for the Victory Crown Barber Company products. All in all, I think they are pretty decent products. I think they're very user friendly. They're pretty easy to use. There's not really much of a learning curve. The usage directions are pretty straightforward for them. And I think for even like an entry level hair product user, using these should be pretty easy. Scent is great. The packaging looks cool. The performance is pretty much what you would expect from all three of them. However, I do like that the matte and the paste are smoother sort of texture products rather than the traditional really dry, stiff, really pasty type of texture products. So yeah, definitely very smooth matte products, not very common in the barber world. Typically they're very dry and stiff. This one kind of goes against that grain. I think they are pretty unique and definitely very fun to use. And if you're in the market for a traditional gel type pomade that has a pretty solid firm hold to it, and you know, is very easy to use, very straightforward, has a great scent to it, I think this one is a solid choice as well. So yeah, if you want products that are just straight up, easy to use, kind of use on a day in, day out basis, want a daily driver sort of product, all three of these, depending on your preferences for performance characteristics and hair products, can definitely deliver some results that are consistent and you can use the product day in and day out because they're all water soluble and they all feel pretty healthy in the hair as well. So yeah, very, very solid stuff, but my favorite, like I said, would have to be the paste just because I think it is sort of the most unique in the sense that it really is a jack of all trades sort of hair product. But for what all three of them are, they are very good and very easy to use. And like I said, great sort of daily driver type products if that's something that you're looking for. So with that said, everybody, this was a review of the three pomades from Victory Crown Barber Company. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and don't forget to subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And make sure you check the description down below for a more detailed written review on each of these products on my blog, as well as a link to where you can find them for yourselves. And at the way, 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 way bottom of the description, I will be comparing all three of these products to similar products to each of them on the market to give you a better idea of how how they might stack up against some others in your collection. So yeah, with that said, I just reviewed three products in one video. That's gonna be a lot of editing. So I have to go get started on that to get this up on the channel as soon as possible for all of you. So you all have a good one and I will see you all soon with another video.